Today, I am playing the full 18 holes at Batchwood Golf Club. The course was built on the grounds of Batchwood Hall and opened to the public in 1936. The hall's clock tower is the original prototype of the one that stands at the Houses of Parliament today. Anyway, the first hole at Batchwood is a par 5. It's reachable in 2, and you know I've got my driver out, giving this a go. It was struck pretty well. Turned a little bit to the left, but I thought that was going to be making its way down there quite a long way. When I got up there, I found this. Ball basically just landed in this stuff and just didn't go anywhere. So unfortunately, it's just a wedge back into play here. Got it out. Got it a fair way down the, uh, well, the fairway. And uh, still got a chance to get there in three. I have got my six iron out for this one. See if it sits ball in the green. Although that is actually quite tricky to do on this hole because everything feeds down to the back of it. This ball came out low and a little bit toey, so it ended up going just to the right of the green. Great distance, but unfortunately. Uh, didn't actually make it onto the green. So a tricky chip and run shot here. Got an 8 iron in my hands to go to the mere 5 yards I had left. Wish I had known that, although I'm pretty sure I did. Came out a bit, well give it a bit too much there, so putting at least uphill to try and save par here. Unfortunately, just pulled it a bit to the left. Left myself quite a tricky uh, part for my bogey still. Not one you'll leave stuff with on the first hole, but I do hold that. So we go through the first hole. Unfortunately, one over par. Second hole is a fairly short par four. Back up the hill we just came down. 126 yards today. I've got a four hybrid in hand. Just trying to get the ball in play here. and get it in play I did. It didn't go particularly far despite being downwind because I didn't quite catch all of it but it's in the middle of the fairway which around this course is very hard to do and I am left with 150 yards left into the screen. In hindsight no idea why I picked the 7 iron for this going downwind but I hit it. I did choke down it a bit I think to take a bit of distance off but was enough to stop it from going through to the back of the green, although thinning it didn't help either. I gave a fist pump there because I thought it was a lot closer than it actually turned out to be. Again, no idea why I thought that. I would have seen it go through the back of the green. But it's a birdie putt nonetheless. We are putting back down the slope. When I hit this, I thought I'd given that perfect amount of pace, but as soon as I got to the hole, it just picked up even more. Ended up flying a few feet past, but we are putting uphill a tiny bit, albeit also slightly left to right, for our par. And I guess both my knees gave out at the same time there. No, what happened was it caught the left edge of the ball and uh, didn't drop. So it's not a bogey, two through two holes and uh, already starting to get the fit, it's been one of those days. This is why I'm an 18 handicap, folks. Just can't quite make those pars. Third hole, short par 3, 9 iron in hand, flag at the front of the green. This one was a tiny bit slappy. I'm telling it to get down, in part because I thought it was uh, flying over. But it also looked kind of good despite the sound, and uh, it turns out it was pretty good. I'm left with this reasonably short putt up the hill for my birdie. This is should be a simple two putt for the par, at least. Fortunately my wrist got involved with the first putt, so it ended up flying past. And now I'm left with a tricky two, three footer down the hill for the par. 
And I guess in part I rushed that and also uh, didn't take into account the slope. So unfortunately we three putt and yes, now it is starting to feel like one of those days. Three your next tip? Fourth hole. Again, pretty short par four. There are some really good score opportunities in these first few holes at Batchford. Haven't taken advantage of them yet, but let's see if we can do that here. Unfortunately, I pushed this one out to the right because there was someone watching me, and apparently I can't handle people watching me. I know. Ironic, right? So I pushed this one into the trees, unfortunately. I was a little bit blocked out, but there's still a lot of space there I can use. Let's get a measurement there. I'm not constantly checking the time, I'm just checking my watch for a, d a distance because it's a Garmin watch. That's what I use as my GPS during these rounds. Four hybrid, a club designed to cut through grass and hopefully punch the ball low. But I didn't in this case, it just shot up in the air because it's exactly what I wanted to do in that situation. And just as preparing for this shot, this happened. I got a shout of four from the other fairway, saw a ball come flying towards me, so I made a run for it, bolted out of there. No one got hurt, unf uh, unfortunately. <laughs> I didn't get hurt. Might be unfortunate to some people, I don't know, but um, yeah, no one got hurt. Hitting an eight iron on this shot. Uh, caught a down slope just short of the green, which threw it forward quite a bit. Other than that, pretty decent attempt. So once again, we're just over the back of the green here. Fortunately, on your approach, there's, it feels like there's no such thing as a short putt. But um, it's a chance for a par. Apparently it wasn't as down the hill as I thought it was, so left that one a bit short. But it's only a few feet, and we've got this. Keep our bogey train a chugging along. And of course, Away with it. So there we go, our first big mistake of the round, double bogey there, another three putt. One of those days. Fifth hole, and I can finally say this, is a long par four. We're going uphill, uh, I believe I was going, I think I was downwind on this hole actually, that we're going into wind on the fourth hole. There we go. First great drive of the day. I just think it was the first one. A good one. It was a good one, I suppose. But first one down the middle of the fairway, and we held the fairway. Leaving me with just a hybrid into the green here with my second shot. A nice trajectory. Uh, started off straight, turned a bit to the right. I thought I left myself short, but when I got up there, it turns out what I'd actually done was catch the front of the green. But once again, a long putt awaits us. At least this time, it is for a birdie. Gave it a good run, but left it just a tiny bit short. That's a couple of feet away, and I'm really nervous standing over this because of what's happened over the past few holes. No need to be nervous though. In fact, it's time for some fist pumping because that is our first part of the round, and I guess in a way of this series, if you don't count my three-hole vlog around this course. We're on to hole six. It's a par three, and I have my five hybrid in hand. Caught that one a bit heavy. As you can see, it turns a little bit right to left on its travels. Didn't think it was a good result, as you can tell by the way I'm reacting. But when I got up there, ball's just on the front of the green. Chance of a birdie, and hopefully another two putt in front of a par. actually pace this one okay. It looks worse than it actually is. It's only about a foot short there, just a little bit to the right as well. 
making it a bit longer, but hey, the old departures now. Let's see if I can do that here. That'll be why we can't do it here. Didn't hit that one hard enough. It's another bogey, but at least we're back level to my handicap. Hole 7. Interesting par for this one. Get a good drive away. You've just got like a 9 iron, 8 iron to the green. If you don't, it's a free shot hole. Yeah, that really wasn't ideal at all. I was not expecting that. Haven't hit one of those for ages in real... Oh, this is real life too. I say some weird stuff sometimes. Haven't hit a drive like that for a while. But I have a long way back here. But, you know, if you're not going to be able to get to the green too, it doesn't really matter where you leave your tee shot. Just got a six iron here. Just trying to get down there as close as I can. And get down there I did. Look at this travel. 227 yards of a 6 iron. That's how severe that slope is. And suddenly, we're back in the hole. I get my third shot onto the green. Possibly hole a putt for a par. If not, it's two putts for a bogey. That's how I have to think at the level I am at. Nicely struck, this one. It's a little bit too far, but we are on the green. Ho oh, hum. <laughs> putt for the par. It is downhill. Tricky putt, but um I'll stop thinking about two putting a bit more. Great pace on that one. Just unfortunately didn't read it properly. So this one is a tap in bogey to stay level to the handicap. As we go on to the eighth hole. Um, straight over this one because, as you can see, that is not a great shape to have a drive. And unfortunately I would not find that. Luckily I did reload while I was here because I had a feeling I wouldn't do that. And then I go and hit what is, I think, my best drive of the day. And I ask myself the age-old question, why the hell didn't I do that first time? Pitching wedge from middle of the fairway, only just over 110 yards out. Hit a bit too much there, but uh, still opportunity to get up and down, save our double bogey, and it wouldn't be too bad, considering the tee shot that I hit. Got my iron again, because I guess I didn't learn from the first one of these I hit. Just try and land it, as I did, just short of the green, but again, the ball just kept on running on this day, even though it does not look like a day where that would actually happen. So, I ought to go for the putter. Opportunity still to hold a putt. Get out of it, door bogey. Limit the damage. And it just didn't turn for me. Again, well paced considering I was hitting out of fringe there. Uh, but this one is for a dual bogey, and this would be, very, well, as it is, very damaging. Thankfully, that is all it was, though. So that was the equivalent of making another bogey there. Had I not hit my first tee shot and lost it. Nine hole, ninth hole, sorry. Tricky downhill par three because the ball again just keeps on rolling if it lands short. So I up for the six sign to carry it to the green. And I actually get a pretty good result from this. Because it turns a little bit over to the left again. But ends up just off the green on the fringe. And we are putting from there. For a birdie. Every time I walk over to one of these, I have that doubt in my mind I'm going to do exactly the thing I did before. But I should be two parting from here because I do have the ability to do that. And that was <laughs> the best part I'd hit all day. I really thought I had that as it was tracking towards the hole, but unfortunately, didn't quite hit it hard enough. But that is a par, and we finish our front nine. Ten over, gross, one over, net. Not bad considering we've got a double bogey and a troll bogey on the scorecard. This is the tenth hole. We're starting our back nine with a very long uphill par four. So of course, driver's out, and uh, trying to hit the fairway. Why would I not be trying to do that? 
great strike, turned it over a bit to the left, but they didn't take any distance off it per se. Uh, it didn't roll out as much though, carry-wise it didn't take any distance off. But, opportunity to get the ball up there, get a measurement again, and head back to the bag. Uh, it's one of those that turned the camera on too soon, that's why I ended up capturing that and decided to lead that in. So, four hybrid, 204 yards uphill. Fortunately, I caught the ground a bit on that one, so took a lot of distance off. Still pretty good flight. And uh, considering, like I say, it's a very hard path for up the hill, it would have been nice to have been a bit closer, maybe even on, but uh, not a bad place to be. Get the ball on three, two putts, it's a bogey. We are playing, well, net par golf. Get wedge for this one. Fortunately pulled it a bit to the left. Not too bad distance wise. Got it up there onto the green. And just to explain, I came from the left hand side. So this ball's actually short of the flag. It's not in line with it. This one for the par though. Always an opportunity if you're on the green. Fortunately, to convert the opportunity, you've got to get it there, as I am clearly demonstrating with my arm gestures there. So, tricky parts still up the hill for the bogey, but I do hold that one. Felt good to hold that, and it's always good to walk off that 10th hole for bogey, if I'm honest. 11th hole, we are going once again back down the hill, other side of the road now. Somehow a longer hole than the previous one. Uh, but driver in hand, see what I do here. Very nice drive. Everything does unfortunately feed a bit left in this fairway, so I did end up finding my ball just off the fairway. But not a bad result. It was down the middle, quite a long way down there. I've got a hybrid in hand, trying to reach this green in two. Great strike. That was a lot better than I was expecting. Take it to get down a bit because I know what happens on this hole too. It does roll out quite a bit down that slope. And for me, I have played this of course many times. That is actually a great result. The ball could have kept on going. It could have stopped short. But as it is, it's just off the green in the fringe. And we are putting from there for a birdie. to say in this clip here I do go to hit the putt my putter kept getting stuck on the grass behind I kept pulling it back and nothing was happening so I tried to flat it down in the end uh, somewhat successfully I think because I managed to get the uh, putter back in the end basically chopped at that putt wasn't expecting too much from it that's what I was thinking but nice to walk out of here with bogey this time great putt though just past the hole an opportunity for a par here We gratefully take that. We are back to level to our handicap. 11 over through 11 holes. Kind of make some progress in the right direction as we tee off on the very familiar looking 12th hole. I think that sense a bit right. Shout of four there. I think I shouted it now. I've got this muted as I watch it back. But I did, yeah. Threw my club down, ran to the left, shouted four, because it was going into the 13th fairway, which is where I'm currently standing now. Four hybrid in hand again. I do like this club. I use it quite a lot from the fairway. And uh, nice connection, nice trajectory. A little bit of right to left movement on it. And as you can probably tell, it's pretty close to the green. But, unfortunately... This was the result. I was thanking the uh, guy who accidentally played through me at this point since I had just played my tee shot onto the 13th hole. He thought I was long gone, hit his tee shot. So I let him play through in the end and he was wishing me luck for the rest of this round. Because apparently carrying your phone on a tripod is quite the conversation starter as I found out on this day. Yeah, I ran that one through just a tiny bit. So we are once again putting from the fringe just off the green for a par in this case. 
but uh, it became a very familiar pattern of the day, putting from just off the green and from a long way away. Pretty good putt. Again, one of those I thought it had a chance of going in as it was getting there. Fortunately, didn't quite make it, so we had this putt which we unfortunately will not see go in for the bogey. But uh, we're still level to our handicap, and that is pretty good going. Especially at this stage in the round. Hole 13. You may recall my trials and tribulations from the last time I played this, and those thoughts were, unfortunately, on my mind as I was stepping up for this one. Thankfully though, as you can see by the fact the scoreboard's currently gone transparent, but now back to where it was, I hit the ball down the right-hand side, uh, sent it a little bit to the left as well, turned a little bit to the left, so I drew it, that is the term, and we are in the fairway. A mere 90-something yards away, 96 yards away uh, from the flag, from the green. Sandwich in hand for this one. Lovely crisp strike there. Put it just right of the green. Perfect distance. And I thought at the time, as I hit that, I'd done, I think you just better hear me say it, the uh, bachelor special, which is what I think of as the ball just takes a huge bound forward, goes through the back of the green. Turns out it was just off the right edge. Had a go at chipping it in for the birdie, didn't quite get out there unfortunately. So this putt for the par. And another one goes. Finally holding some putts, nice up and down there. And we are now on the right side of par. As far as my handicap goes. Hole 14. I had good thoughts about this one based on the, again, previous video. I'll be playing around here. And it was so nice to relive that one. Unfortunately, we were going straight into the wind here, so my drive only went the 187 yards that you just saw. But I had a chance to get to the green too, as you'd expect on a short bar for. I have got my 6 iron out for this one though. Just trying to get it to the middle of the green. Wind is my cushion here. Unfortunately the wind did drop just a tiny bit as I hit that. The ball went a bit further than I was intending. All the same though, it's on the green. I am still happy with that result. Because I thought it was a bit closer again. But uh, I got up there, very tricky putt for the birdie here. And maybe this way left to try and compensate with the fact it's going to run its way to the right. But unfortunately it just stayed up there. It turned a bit at the end as you just saw. But now I'm left with a tricky downhill putt for my par here. Didn't quite hit it hard enough. If I'd hit that, that one was probably going to go in. As is, it's yet another three putt on the day. And it's a bogey at the 14th hole. 15. We are going back downwind. And as per the second hole, I've just got my hybrid out. Try and take advantage of this wind, let the ball be carried forward on it, and try and keep it in the middle of the fairway, if I can. And a bit like the second hole, it does exactly that. And this time, I caught all of it, so that is a very long hybrid, even for me. Nicely done, down the middle of the fairway, and it's just a short iron in hand for this approach shot. In fact, it's a pitching wedge. I forgot I hit a pitching wedge there. I thought I hit a 9 iron. But it's a pitching wedge to get to this green. Let's see how we do here. Ball's hit very high. And I guess now I should apologise for the fact that some of these yeah, wedge shots did go a bit high and out of uh, my phone's range. So uh, just you have to take my word for it. That's how high it went, and that's exactly what it did. And again, on this hole, that's a great result. I've gone through the back of the screen so many times, I've come up short the screen so many times. So to get it on the green, that was something different. If only the ball reacted how I thought it would going up the slope, as I was once again pointing out with my hands. This part for a par though, definitely makeable. If you hit the ball. So many of those on this day, 
that's essentially what three putting is. It's misjudging the first putt, and the second one just doesn't drop in. So that's a bogey there too, but we're on a good bat nine so far. Nothing worse than a bogey. As we start this par three for a change of pace, eight iron, back into the wind here. Oh, let me explain this one. Might be long. Wind just dropped. Yeah, so I decided at this point I was going to uh, try and say some things on camera myself while I was there. Not sure it picked up particularly well, but I was just basically saying wind dropped. Uh, ball might have gone through the back of the green. As it was, it was actually about pin high, just a bit to the left. And that is me showing... Uh, my my anger at the fact that basically every one of those shots I hit just kept on rolling forever on this day. Putt for a par, drops in. That was our best par of the day. And best part of the day is what I was meant to say. Best part of the day for our best par of the day. And yeah, very happy with that one. A lot of fist pumping going on there. So we are once again... No, we, ne we never did go above our handicap again. We are two under the handicap now 14 over overall as we tee off on this 17th hole and once again as I've been doing for this entire bat and I pretty much just smashed it down the middle of the fairway and considering that was in to win that was a very well hit shot to go that far very happy with that one so position A off the tee got my hybrid out here I considered taking my five wood out and trying to go for the screen but I thought there's no it's going to reach in to win 240 plus yards still to go, so the plan was to just leave this about 100 yards away, just to wedge into the green from there. Then I do this. I pushed it wildly right. Fortunately, lost my eye on it, but I thought, I'll find that. Didn't find it. It went somewhere into that long grass on the right. I took a drop here because there was someone behind me at this point, and I didn't want to go back and hit another one. So I just dropped it roughly where I thought it would have entered and hit this fourth shot here, penalty shot, which I managed to get up onto the green. As you can tell once again, 120 yards away, 119 yards hit. That ball was pretty close, and that's close to got an approach shot all day to the flag, unless you count my tee shot on the third. So yeah, uh, despite all that, we have this putt for a par. Two parts, we escape a bogey. Wouldn't be a bad hole after that second shot. Theme of the day again. Didn't quite hit it hard enough. A little bit to the left too. Tapping for a bogey though. Not a bad score to get out of that hole with. Especially considering where that second shot ended up. And so here we are. We're on the 18th tee. Yet another par 5. All the par 5s in this course are in the same field. So the first hole is actually just to the left of this one, 17th just to the right. And here we go, final tee shot of the day. Struck it really nicely once again. Turned it over a little bit to the left, but it just looked like that went on quite a distance. And I figured I might even be able to have a go at this green in two. Considering we're going downwind here. Yeah, that didn't quite work out. It may not look like it from this camera angle, but that tree is blocking my way forward. I considered just going out to the right, but then I thought, I'll try and play that stupid shot I tried to play earlier on. And I play a stupid shot again. As you can see, the tracer is not even following the ball on that one. I couldn't get it to rebound back like the ball actually did. But at least it moved to the right a bit, so I had a clear shot towards the green now. At the times like this, you have to keep a cool head, reassess the situation, and oh no, I got a five wood out. What am I doing? Well, you can tell what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make up for my mistake there by hitting my five. We're trying to get onto the green, if that's even possible. And I actually struck it better than I thought it would. I thought I was probably going to knock that across the floor at the very least. I was a wedge in for my fourth shot. In the bunker. Unfortunately, what I ended up doing is leaving myself one of... Go on, move. <laughs> one of the hardest shots in golf. Uh, I thought this bunker was actually that bunker next to the green, by which I mean I didn't think there was anything here. I thought it was just that bunker there. 
despite playing this course quite a few times already. Never been as bunker. I was shot in golf and I played it very well considering the level I play at. Got it 50 yards, left us off 6 yards roughly to the flag and actually started a par putt despite that stupid second shot once again. My second shot's costing me on these par fives today. But can we finish off with a par? Let's find out. As you can already tell by my action, no we could not, so tap in here for the bogey and we finish at 16 over par. So I'm getting myself again, this putt goes in. Never going to miss that. Yeah, 16 over, which is actually less than 90, so that is mission accomplished. Pretty good result considering uh, so many three putts, so many shots around the green to actually break my handicap and break 90. Pretty good going for me. And that was Batford Hall. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one of these.